It's a case of so far, so good for Ole Gunnar Solskjaer at Manchester United. Although there were no arguments with the dismissal of Jose Mourinho last week, there were a few eyebrows raised when Solskjaer was given the keys to Old Trafford for at least five months. The Norwegian certainly knows the club inside out, but his managerial success has been contained to mod and his foray into Premier League management crashed and burned with Cardiff City. Nevertheless, he has kept the doubters at bay for the time being with a superb showing against his former employers, leading the Chargers United romp to a 5-1 victory in South Wales. The Red Devils displayed an attacking brand of football that simply wasn't present under Jose Mourinho with Marcus Rashford, Anthony Marshall, Jesse Lingard and Ander Herrera all scoring. However, no matter how soundly United improve in the coming weeks, they still don't have the ammunition to launch a future title challenge that fans expect. Improvements and alterations must be made to a team that has been shaken to the foundations by the meddling of David Moes, Louis van Gaal and Mourinho. Of course, the first opportunity comes in the January transfer window and there has been speculation that Solskjaer could make a few signings. That is, however, Counted by suggestions by the Mirror that Solskjaer has actually agreed on a transfer ban of sorts and will focus on the current squad. Assuming the new United boss can actually spend, though, what would his team look like? Well, on the assumption he can splash around pound 50 70 million, here's our best guess, David De Gea, who else? It would take some lucrative signings and bizarre decision-making from United to displace the great Spaniard from between the sticks. Diogo Dalot, it's been an impressive start for the young fullback and with an eye to the future, it makes sense for Solskjaer to pick him above the out-of-sorts Antonio Valencia. Toby Alderweireld his complicated contract situation at Tottenham gives United the perfect opportunity to buy him on the cheap and he would hugely shore up their defence. Eric Bailey forward slash Azan Kabak, the former would more than likely be selected here, but it's definitely worth mentioning Kabak who has been linked recently and looks a very promising youngster. Luke Shaw what a season the Englishman is having and with Mourinho now absent, he could be United's number one left back for years to come. Paul Pogba, it simply doesn't get much better than Pogba when he's on form and under Solskjaer, hopefully he can discover the style that made him unplayable at the World Cup. Douglas Costa Another name that's been constantly linked with United and the exciting Juventus man could be a decent upgrade on Fred if he's willing to adapt to the system. And a Herrera forward slash Tanguin Demel, Herrera has to be in the conversation after his Cardiff showing, but the latter has been heavily linked and his Leon displays have shown his quality to the world. Jesse Lingard it hasn't been a vintage season for Lingard so far, yet his performance against Cardiff suggests he could be a real asset during the run-in. Marcus Rashford. We're sorry Romelu Lukaku. But current form suggests Rashford is worth the gamble up front and his recent goal-scoring form indicates it could seriously pay off. Anthony Marshall. That's right. It would rude to alter the front three after such a convincing debut and Marshall has been the most prolific player in the whole triumvirate this season. The simple fact that the team above will be managed by Solskjaer makes it so much more promising, even with an additional three signings included in the starting eleven. Other potential new signings are, Sarge Milinkovic-Savic. 
Eda Milidao and Khalida Kalibali, although price would be a huge issue. Do you think Solskjaer should be allowed to make new signings? Have your say in the comments section below.